Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Jeff Burns before the 2018 IAU 100K World Championships. How are you, Jeff? I'm well. I'm well. Thank you. You are the top returning member of the American men's team. I uh, finished fifth two years ago at uh, Los... Los Alcázares. There we go. Um, and a pretty good time, yeah? Yeah, it was It was okay. It was all right. It was six. Was it 6.38, I think? It was six hours, 38 minutes. Um, it was a good performance. It was... It's an interesting course, um, and I had it was I had non ideal build up for it. I had some injuries before it, so it was kind of abbreviated. So it was it was a very I was very proud of it, all things considered, but certainly not not representative of the fitness that I had at Mad City leading up to that six mm-hmm. months prior. So so uh, you didn't quite nail or have like your perfect day there, right? How was your lead up? to this year's 100k um it's been well i've prepared i've prepared how i've wanted to prepare that's awesome like everything yeah. you you've done what you wanted i've done what i wanted i couldn't i wouldn't change it and what does that look like what what does your training look like at uh at um, peak for a road 100k i got um it's very similar to marathon training um Maybe if I earn a post-race interview, we can talk more specifics on training. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Um, You've had a good block. Yeah, yeah. You feel fit, you're confident. Yeah, yep, yeah. And here you are. Yep. Um, This course, I would say, like, maybe you, seems like you feel like you're fitter than you were two years ago. Yeah. But this is not a fast course. No, it's, this is going to be really challenging. Um it's for the viewers who don't know it's it's undulating um there's no flat sections it's not you know this isn't this isn't mountains but we're in it's it's hilly here we're in wine country there are um there are slopes where there are grapes there are slopes and the slopes we run over (laughs) um so it's going to be you know a seven and a half k loop of just never never flat always up always down yeah, I think somebody ran the seven and a half k Lulu or section yesterday and calculated somewhere over eight hundred meters. Uh, so probably coming up on three thousand feet of climb over yeah. over the hundred k, which is more than most hundred kilometer like yeah. world championship type courses. That is that might be more climbing than comrades in, in, in a, a down year. In a down year, yeah, but um, on par. Yeah, so it's it's going to make for it's really hard to to gauge that I've been trying to think about it, how to handle, how to handle it. Because even like a course like mad city where the U S national championships are held is hilly. There's some big, some big Hills, but there are also sections of flat where you can kind of lock in. And that's one of the things that's makes a road ultra marathon very different than like a mountain ultra marathon is that sensation of, you know, kind of, cruising right? yeah. whereas it's not there's not so many gear changes that you would have like sharply ascending sharply descending but here yeah it'll be it'll make for a very interesting very dynamic race now you've run a couple hundred k's on the roads yes um do you find it challenging to have to stay in that same gear a long long way for like me like i it's like a nightmare scenario of having to run that same stride and that same effort no i i that's it's hard it's 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 not easy but i i revel in it and i love it and that's actually why i don't like trails um i don't have i always tell people i'm really good at i'm i'm exceptionally at my mind is exceptional at thinking in series but atrocious at thinking in parallel (laughs) and i feel like running on trails you're operating in parallel you're constantly switching gears and everything whereas on the roads you just dial in and execute and the level of fatigue you get, I think is very different than, Mm -hmm. than on trails. It's a very different fatigue because it is like, I mean, it's neuromuscular exhaustion that you, that you deal with. So it's different, but I, but I like it. It's, it's my, it's my preferred battle, preferred battleground, I guess. Now over your experience, have you focused on what is neuromuscularly exhausted first? Like me, I think like, oh, my hip flexors or whatever. Is there, is there like, a point that you have found and worked on or is it? No, I think it's diff. It changes every race. And I think it, it, um, which is one of the reasons why our sport is so beautiful is that we are, 
creatures constantly in evolution. You know, the only thing constant is change. And so it's like every single outing has to be a creative endeavor and how to like problem solve and deal with the specific challenge on that day. Mm -hmm. So anyways, to answer your question, it, I would say every race I've had has always been something different, you yeah. know, getting to you, um, that you just deal with, uh, since hundred K world champs two years ago, you've had a couple really good races. Uh, how about that, uh, 50 K excuse me, 50 mile last fall. Yeah. So I went to Chicago to run the lakefront 50 and, um, I had the outside goal of trying to run under five hours. Mm -hmm. And I think I got, I got fit enough to do it. I was very happy with my training and it, it actually was my first ultra back after a long series of, of, um, really frustrating injuries that caused me to like pull out of comrades. So that was kind of my first step back into the waters of ultra running. And I think I got in shape to run under five hours, but the day, you know, mother nature just said no, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know, it's on, it's a back and forth along the Chicago lakefront and there was 15 to 20 mile an hour winds the whole way. And it was, you know, 30, 35 degrees. So like zero to two degrees Celsius. <laughs> and there was at different points, there was a little bit of snow, rain. So it was, it was a rough day conditions wise. Yeah. That's, that's tough to, to spend five hours in that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. and so anyway, so I was, I was happy with the effort and the result, but it wasn't quite as fast as I would have liked. But. And as someone who's probably never content with their results, you finished yeah. 12th in Comrades this year. Yeah. But I think that's a pretty amazing result. Uh, how did you think it went? Um, it went really, really well. It was, it was such a, so 12th for people who aren't familiar with Comrades, top 10 at Comrades is like, so you get a gold medal for being in top 10. And like so, literally, literally yeah. a gold medal. Um, <laughs> And that is the, like the ultimate, it's kind of, it's basically like getting on the podium. Um, and so to be 12th, like you're just outside that, but it's still, you know, so it's always that like, Oh, I'm so happy, but there's a little bit more and it, but it was my first, my first real go at it. And yeah, and there's a massive learning curve to that race. Um, I mean, some so, of the yeah. guys you're going to be racing on Saturday have gone through that learning curve and, oh yeah, I mean, have finished, uh, I I'm, well, Bong Musa is one three. He's, yeah, he's, he's one three, but there's a couple guys. They're uh, the youngest guy on the team. I think he's like 37, so yeah. it's relative. But he's gone from like in the teens to like back half of the top ten, and who knows what's next. Yeah. And I think I think all of their guys on their team are gold medalists. I you know, I, 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 I think might you might be correct because I think the yeah. the youngest guy is just now broken in that. Yeah, and so a lot of gold medals on the the team, and obviously Bong Musa's titles as well. So <clears> that's you know, that's power, power team. Totally. But it went pretty well for you. Yeah. Um, so I was, I was very happy. I think all things considered, um, you know, first time out down run, down runs hard to prepare for, I think without having done one. So I was, I was, again, it was like happy and hungry, <laughs> Hung, you... happy and hungry for war. So, so being happy and hungry, uh, seems like your state. Yeah. Uh, I assume that's how you're going into, uh, yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, fifth, fifth last time around. And I mean, honestly, I think top 10, you know, being top 10 at a world championship is, is kind of the, the first goal. And just to, to yeah. do that would be great. Um, but I'll, you know, obviously, the other thing I'd like to do is, you know, run faster or at least, I don't know, it's tough. But yeah. I mean, you know, when you nail a day, even exactly. if fast, like faster exactly. is relative, like it's, yeah. it could be. 80 degrees. I mean, it could be warm and it's undulating. Yeah. And like, well, it's supposed to be storming. Okay. So pouring rain. For today was hours. hot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, the and there's like, I mean, even place wise, like it's yeah. hard to like, yeah, there's at least two former comrades champs and a couple other people who've been gold. And yeah, there's the work world record holder from the hundred K from Japan. I would say this is probably, you could make the argument. This is the strongest 100k field maybe ever assembled yeah i mean then you have like people like us or giorgio calcaterra who's won and twice yeah. uh asier cueva yeah. jose antonio Requejo. Yeah. like uh it's it's thick man it's it's gonna be a heavy like uh, will you be content if you as someone who seems to not always yeah you know like if you had a really good race and five other guys just 
nailed it as well. Would you be content with that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, again, it's like if I, if I, I've prepared as well as I wanted to and, and you know, you know, in a race when you make the decisions that you should make, um, if I, if I answer, if I answer the challenges that are presented to me, well, I'll know whether that's third place, fifth place, 12th place, you know, mm-hmm. we'll see on, on Saturday. But, um, but yeah, it's, that's that's one of the beautiful things about a you know a world championship like this is is that it's it's truly like I mean yeah it's it's about placing about racing so yeah yeah well Jeff best of luck out there and I hope you answer some of those uh, questions in the affirmative this weekend yeah thank you Ryan. <laughs>